back. <laughs> Not that anyone on YouTube will know the difference that I've been gone for like a week or so because, you know, I haven't released all the other ones. Uh, yeah, but I am back, but, and as you can tell more by how I'm dressed, and I think, what is with this piece of hair? It's always this piece of hair. Uh, that I'm not feeling as crappy as I was. Um. Surgery's healing. Hip's healing. Uh, got my stitches out. We're entering into week three on Tuesday, which will allow me... Is that week three? Is this week three? How many weeks has it been? I don't know. I've lost sense of time. Can, I, can you open the full uh, thing, please? Thank you, computer. Uh, let's see. One, two... So yeah, uh, next week we will have completed the end of three weeks. So we are in week three. We're just... Um, still figuring it out. Hello, Iris. Nope, don't do that in here. Um, I'm working myself off my crutches. A little early, because I feel like I can, but it de there's definitely a lot of pain. <laughs> still in my groin line where they drilled through my pelvic bone <laughs> so yeah i was laying outside in the sun and i laid it was on my stomach and i turned and a bit of the patio dug into my groin and it hurt but i thought today because i'm at least i'm awake i still have no work because i'm not working this month um that we'd get back into this game and here's the thing i know i read fast I do. I know I read fast. I know I have really high cheekbones, apparently. Um, and I wish I didn't. But that's who I am. I'll try to read slower, <laughs> but I make no promises. Because once I get into it, I just start... Just gone. I can't believe this. I march down the halls of the dorm, muttering angrily to myself under my breath. I'm going to kill Kurt. Kurt's the pervert. Okay. We were supposed to meet today for another tutoring session, but he never showed up. So of course I tried texting him, but no answer. Then I tried to call him, but he didn't pick up either. Naturally, I was so pissed, but I got in touch with Darren. I figured if anyone knew where Kurt's lazy ass was, it would be his roommate. Long story short, it's why I'm over here in their dorm. Darren t told me that Kurt's in their room, still asleep. It's, like, not even noon yet. So I guess I can understand, but can this guy not stick to commitments? At least he didn't ditch me on purpose. That would have made me more peeved. So, as much as I'd like to excuse... So as much as I'd like an excuse to, I can't kill him for this. I figure he'll do something along the way to make me change my mind, though. I haven't actually been in his dorm before. It's pretty nice. As nice as mine. But I figure it's to be expected since we're in the same school. Duh. Darren said the room was f the 400s, 411... I double checked the text he sent me to make sure. Yep, 411. I look around trying to find a sign for room numbers and spot one with an arrow to the right with, with 400 through 414. Looks like that's where I go. It leads me to a long hall and I count the room numbers as I walk past them. Eventually, I reach the end where room 411 and 414 are tucked away. Not wanting to waste any more time, I knock on the door with the 411 door plate and take a step back, waiting for someone to answer. I can hear footsteps on the other side. H who is it? It's Nicole. I recognize that voice. It's not so surprised. It's not a surprise to see that Darren is on the other side of the door when he opens it. Hello, Nicole. Nice blue shirt. Darren greets me with a small smile and a polite nod. <laughs> He's always so nice. His smile is just creepy, though. Hiya, so where is he? I try to look past Darren to see if I can spot Kurt, but Darren does his best to lean in my way. H He's asleep, but, um... I don't know if it would be the best idea to let you in. Let me guess, there's a girl in his bed. I groan and cross my arms in annoyance. Aw, oh, why not? Kurt tends to become testy if woken up by force. Darren looks away and pushes on the bridge's glasses nervously. He can be a bit frightening at his worst. Is that why you haven't woken him up yet, even though it's going to be lunchtime soon? Darren nods meekly. His cheeks are lit red with a blush. Sorry. No, no, don't apologize. I believe you when you say Matt Madri can be scary. Hm, if you want, though, I can try to wake him up. You, Nicole? I do not know. I'm not scared of Kurt Madri. <laughs> Just be sure to have 911 ready in case I need an ambulance. 
Darren sighs at my joke, but stands to the side to let me into the room. Just be careful. The room is way more different than I was expecting. Wait, no, I take that back. If this was Kurt's room, it'd be perfect. Football paraphernalia is everywhere, from the metals on the wall to the rug on the floor. Jeez, Darren, do you own anything in here? Darren points to the left corner of the room where a small cubicle desk is installed. My, my laptop and books. That's not what I meant. Well, Kurt was so enthusiastic about making our room the, what did he say, best man cave ever. Darren curls down the first two fingers of each hand, air quote. So I simply allowed him to do what he wished. I didn't mind. Oh, I did offer my input on which posters to hang up, though. I look at the wall and see macho-looking posters of cars and women in bikinis. Uh, I guess they do have a sort of artsy element to them. That I see in pics, dare, and reblogs. But oops, I got distracted for the reason I came here. It's not hard to put Miss Kurt. It's not hard to put Miss Kurt's large frame wrapped up in my navy. Miss Kurt's. Miss Kurt. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to, mi to to miss. I don't know why, and my brain couldn't put that one together. Like, it literally was thinking they were calling him a missus for a minute, and I was just like, looking at that, like, I know that's not what it says, but that's what my brain is saying. It's, like, it's hard not to miss Kurt's large frame wrapped up in his navy blue sheets. Where Darren's bed on the left is all purposely made, Kurt is all messy even before- okay, she knows. Even for one that's currently being used. His stuff is littered on the foot, his blanket has been kicked from the under the mattress, and just hangs over, nearly touching the floor. Unfortunately, I noticed that Kurt is a fan of sleeping shirtless. Judging from his bare shoulders. It looks a lot different when he's sleeping, like, more tolerable. Alright, so. Drop my bag on the floor, then bend over to pick up a football from Kurt's side of the room. Do you think if I throw this at him, he'll wake up? N Nicole! Kidding. He's going to beat us both up if I do that. I hand the football over to Darren and step on Kurt's bedside. Tentatively, I reach out and grab his shoulder. Psst! Audrey! I whisper as I lightly shake his body, trying to rouse him from his sleep as gently as I can. It's not working. Madri! I raise my voice a little this time, and Kurt finally cracks an eye open, grumbling restlessly. Uh huh. Kurt sits up in bed, rubbing his eyes with his wrist. Grave? Morning, sunshine! Did you forget what today is? Kurt sleeps. Kurt sleepily cocks his head, but suddenly he jolts into action as though he's been struck by lightning. Crap! What time is it? It's nearly noon, Kurt. You almost slept through lunch. Kurt groans and drops his head into his palms. Damn it! He looks right up at me, and I never thought I'd see him appear so sincerely apologetic as he does now. I didn't mean to leave you hanging again, Grave. I seriously didn't. I remember crashing really late at night, but I never thought I'd be out for so long. Relax, Darren explained everything. It's totally cool. My nose itches like crazy. I was outside, and I'm sure I got plenty of pollen up my nostrils. We can reskip. God damn. Okay. Hey, Dark Soul! What's up? Ignore me as I f fuck around with my nose for a second, because goodness knows. No pun in- oops, no pun intended. Apparently my game doesn't save, maybe I should do that, huh? I'm using a Q-tip, just so anybody's- Being past what? How do you save? <laughs> Nope. How did I get there? Oh yes, I, I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm on week three since surgery, so still healing. Still partially on crutches, still trying to work them off though. I'm not supposed to start that until next week, but I'm kind of jumping ahead at home. Outside of here, I wear my I wear everything I need to wear to get around. No, let's still do it. We can do it right now if you let me get changed real fast. All right, he's only wearing pajama pants. I kind of forgot about that. Well, if you want, I have all my stuff with me. We can just study here in your room, if that's okay with you, Darren. I don't have a problem with that. It's fine. Sweet. Thanks, bro. I'm going to get changed. Kurt pulls the sheets off him and stands from the bed. He lazily scratches his chest as he wanders over to the closet. 
Feel free to watch, Grave. I told you before, I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. Yar har, nice try. Come on, Darren, keep me company outside. You hear Kurt laugh <laughs> laugh after us as I lead Darren out of the room to give a big oaf some privacy. I swear he can be so annoying sometimes. He means it in good fun. Truth be told, he treats many girls the same way. I wouldn't take it personally. I take it more personally. It's bad enough if a guy is like being uh, like iffy with you. It makes it worse when he's being iffy with all the girls because that means you're just a plaything. I guess, but I still don't think it, that's a good excuse. Yes, I can imagine it becomes quite grating after a while. Darren trails off and quickly casts around for another topic. How is the tutoring going? It's going well. Who would have thought? Oh, don't tell him that I said that. <laughs> I won't. That's wonderful to hear. I was hoping that you'd be able to help him in that class. Well, you know me. I'm just that amazing. But hey, Darren, does Kurt usually oversleep like this? No, not regularly. He's not a morning person by any means, but he's certainly capable of waking up before noon. I think he was up late last night studying, which is quite strange since he hasn't mentioned any upcoming tests. If I had to guess, I would say he was studying for your tutoring session today. Really? You think that? It seems like the most likely conclusion, but... <laughs> I'm not sure if I should have told you that. Kurt may not approve of me discussing his attempts to impress you, especially if, we're, if they were supposed to remain a secret. I laugh a bit, ba a little bashfully. Kurt's trying to impress me. I guess that's flattering and nothing new. But I never knew he'd go this far to try and do it. Okay. I put my phone to You're not supposed to bend over 90, but you're like, fuck it, gotta do it anyway. Keep my secret. I'll keep yours. It's my mother. Keep my secret and I'll keep yours? That sounds like a fine deal to me. The door opens and Kurt stands in the door. I finally dressed in regular people clothes. Yo, I'm ready. His eyes- he eyes the two- uh, He eyes the two of us suspiciously as he notices the way we lean into each other like we're exchanging funny jokes. What were you guys talking about out here? None of your business. I stick my tongue out at him and Darren laughs next to me. I'm afraid it's a secret, Kurt. Fine. You two aren't just no fun. Begrudgingly, he lets Darren and me back into their room, and I sit on the floor next to where I I left my bag. Uh, oh, Nicole, let me pull up a chair. I'm good. It's just the floor. I don't mind if I join you. Kurt grabs his textbooks and drops them to the floor right across from me. Once he's all settled and cozy, he opens the book lying on his lap. Where are we going to start now? I pull my own textbook out and start thumbing through the pages. Well, the last time we left off on chapter 9, right? Let's start from there. We do so. This chapter's on competitive markets, which is only just learned in class. It's kind of tricky, tricky teaching Kurt this stuff when I don't have it down myself, but I do my best. I really- I wonder how I got to that. Okay, was that? Oh, my controller's off again. Yeah. Okay, so that's how I save. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, that's good in case the game crashes. Okay, while Kurt and I sit on the floor, absorbed in our economics, Darren sits on his bed, laptop in lap. He's pretty quiet. Like, he doesn't have to take this class, so he doesn't know very much about it, but he pipes up with a remark or two sometimes. It's nice like this, more fun in a way. At least now I can raise my voice and yell at Kurt whenever he's messing around, and Darren's there to help me help back me up if need if I need him to. Pain does that. Yeah. And what evidence? Oops. However, for the most part, I don't- I don't. Kurt behaves well enough, and aside from that one quip at the start, he doesn't try to shoot any more one-liners my way. 
When he's not being obnoxious, Kurt is actually kind of nice to be around. Wow, did I really mean that? Ugh, weird. Wait, okay, so what, what's elastic for a perfectly competitive market? The demand curve is elastic. Everyone keeps their prices the same, so it's easy for the demand to change depending on what people want. Oh, right, right. That'll do it. Unless you're crying out in PTSD form and then it's something else. PTSD is my main insomnia problem. Oh, right, right. It's strange how tutoring Kurt has suddenly turned into studying with him. I wonder when he managed to catch up with me. I mean, I'm happy that I taught him well enough that he gets this on his own, but it's still bittersweet. I feel dethroned in a way. Well, if Darren's right, it's only natural he'd catch up if he's putting the, in, the, in the kind of extra effort to study. Well, I do get having to do PT first. One, insurance. Uh, two, excuse me. If you can strengthen the area of pain, sometimes it can diminish some of the pain. Doesn't mean it'll diminish all the pain. I'm doing PT right now and I'm barely doing anything in it because it just, it hurts. My knees are up and they're like, squeeze your glutes. And I'm like, yeah, I can do that about 10%. I can do that like 5% before this pain. So I have to do it with my legs down. It's great. And my leg keeps going numb and my foot keeps going cold. So if this keeps going on till next week, I need to call my doctor and be like, hey, I might have some problems. All right. What's with the smile? Huh? You're giving me this weird smile, something up. I was? Jeez, wow, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> what, you finally falling for me, Grave? No, ugh, shut up, I was just proud of you. Dad manages to wipe the teasing smirk off Kurt's face. It's obvious how hard you're working to learn this stuff. I was happy that you finally get it. Kurt chuckles to himself, and it's weird. It's not the usually overly assured kind of laugh I hear all the time. It's a kind of proud, modest laugh. <laughs> Thanks, Grave. I stayed up most of the night trying to learn this before our study session today, but that sort of backfired on me. Oh, really? No wonder you slept in. I can feel Darren's gaze on the back of my head as I fight back a smirk. Anyway, this is wearing me out. I call a study break. We can start up again in a little. Cool, I could use the break too. Kurt drops his book on the floor and stretches his arms into the air, yawning. Meanwhile, I turn to Darren on his laptop. Are you on roller, Darren? Darren looks up from his screen, pushing up his glasses and nods. Oh, is anything cool happening? I haven't been on today. I scramble from the floor to sit next to Darren on his bed. Scooch over. He acquiesces and lets me lean over his shoulder so I can take a look at his dashboard. Wow, you don't follow that many people, do you? 250 blogs is considered a small amount? Well, I kind of follow, like, double of that or more. Goodness, Nicole, your dashboard must never end. Are you guys talking about that roll R thing? Kurt looks at us as he stretches his arms across his chest, his other wrist pressed right near his elbow. You're talking about that roller thing, huh? Uh-huh, why do you ask? Just wondering, I heard you mention it that one time we ate lunch together. It is a love simulator, so she I'm getting to know these guys. There's two other ones. And then it's basically like, can you figure out who the guy is? Can you get a love interest? And is that love interest the abductor? Kurt rolls his eyes upwards as he's thinking about something. I've always wondered, what do you do on it? Oh, interested? I eye Kurt mischievously and slip from atop Darren's bed to get to my bag. I feel like I'm going to need my laptop for this. It's just like a blogging site. You do blogging things on it, like post pictures and stuff about your day. Oh, so it's like Spacebook. Yeah, it's Facebook. Ew, no. N no. Curls back under our combined assault. Comparing roll art to Facebook is just something you don't do. Sure, I have both, but I don't think of them the same thing. All right, sheesh, calm your tits. Yes, someone else says it. I didn't even know that site existed before I met two of you. Kurt sulks on the other side of the room, sore from having been told off like that. I guess he has a good point. It's not like he knows much about it. I think I have an idea. 
If you really want, Darren and I could show you how it works. Huss? Darren takes a moment to ponder over this. I'm not sure if I should take part. I tend to have a very hard time explaining things on the go like this. Well, what if you just help me out if I'm missing something? Let me do the bulk and you can fill in the details. That'd work too. There we go. Darren's face lights up in relief. I know it can be hard for him to speak sometimes. I don't want him to have to do any unnecessary struggling. Okay, I will do that. Great, what do you say, Madri? Interested? Da -da -da -da. Not like I have anything better to do. I want to see what makes this website so great that it's hooked the two of you. Yeah, I wouldn't say we are hooked. I think we kind of are, but it's not like Kurt needs to know that. We just really enjoy Roller. Call it what you want, guys. Doesn't make a difference. Kurt still manages a smile to show he's teasing. He looks genuinely interested in what we have to say. Oh, and trust me, I have a lot to say about Rolar. I scoop back until I'm leaning against Darren's bed, then curl my fingers toward myself. All right, Madri, get your butt over here. It's time for a Roller Crash Course 101. I open my laptop as Kurt crawls over to sit next to me. Darren leans over my shoulder to stare at my screen. That was only my desktop for now. I thought you said you hated it when other people looked at your screen. It's your lucky day because I'm making a once-in-a-lifetime exception. Kurt grins and shovels close enough that I feel our shoulders nearly touching. I don't think I've ever been this close to Kurt before, but I actually don't mind. Ooh. I glance at Kurt from the side and he's looking at me, waiting for me to start. Well, face back forward. Facing back forward. Uh, the guy I like most is, I think his name was Ted. He's this country boy guy. <laughs> this is Darren and Madri, two complete opposites. Nerd. Perverted jockey, more or less. Football player, but you know. A anyway, uh, where should we start, Darren? Why not create a side blog to show Kurt the process? You can always erase it later. Nice plan, okay. Now that I have both their attention, I open my internet browser and click on my roller bookmark to start. So if you were gonna make a blog, you'd make you ha you'd have to pick a URL for it. A URL? Think of it as a username. No, that is not the same thing in the slightest. But I get what you're saying. Yep, so in this case, we'll pretend that your username you pick is... I clearly type out the first thing that pops into my mind. Madri is a butthead. Hey, I don't like that name. I laugh and lean to the side as Kurt tries to swipe at my laptop. Too bad, who's the one making the blog here? But... Sit down, Madri. Class is in session. Kurt reaches for my laptop again, but I pull it out of his reach. That doesn't stop him from continuing to try, and I'm laughing as I do my best to avoid him. Let me just say that it's really hard to do it's really hard to do with how long his arms are. It comes to a point where we're nearly wrestling with each other. Darren, push put the leash back on your dog. I wanna make you change that URL, just you wait. Darren watches our back and forth in horror until suddenly he pushes his arm in between us and brings us apart. No more rough housing, please. That finally gets Kurt to stop. He grumbles to himself and settles down. However, I catch him smirking. I can't stop giggling. Thanks, Darren. Where were we? Oh yeah. Now that the server now that the servo, server will check servo server ill. So, no, we do not just a tag an apostrophe LL onto things. This is not how this works. Now the server will check if that URL will be picking we picked is available. I still don't know the <laughs> Hi, Mom. I, I don't know your mom, but have yeah, fun. I stifle another giggle. I'm going to seriously die if someone else already has that URL. That would be way too funny. And nope, it's ours. Hoarding it. I doubt many other people would desire such a URL anyway. Darren looks like he does his best to fight it, but he starts laughing with me anyway. Now I can't hold it in. We both spent a few seconds in a giggling fit, and Kurt looks at us unamused. I already hate Roller. Oh, relax. This isn't serious. No one else will see it unless we reblog stuff. That's for later. Right now we have to pick a theme or appearance that isn't ugly. You can pick one that's pre-made, make your own, or find one that's people-made. I show my screen to Kurt as I roll down the different kinds of blog appearances Roller R provides as defaults. Damn, how the hell do you make one of those? Well, it's all HTML coding. If you know the proper codes for whatever you're trying to do, it's rather simple. It's what I did for my blog. I look at Kurt and subtly shake my head. Don't worry, only nerds know how to do that. Kurt snorts, and the sound is so funny that I start laughing all over again. Darren's the one unamused now, and he frowns pout poutingly at the two of us. You say that now, but you were the one who constantly kept asking me how to code certain aspects of your blog. Alright, he's got me on that. 
Okay, you're right. Sorry, coding is super useful, blah blah blah, but we don't have time to do that stuff. Let's just steal a pre-made one. We continue from there, and Kurt eventually picks one of one he deems rad. It's off to show him how it's off to show him how to customize what his blog says and how it looks. It's really fun to show him how to use roller R. A roller, 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 roller R. Lately it's just been economics and football with Kurt, so it's nice to show him stuff that I'm interested in. I show him how to follow people, how to read blog stuff in, onto his blog, and everything else he needs to know for the roller basics. And that's everything? Kinda, there's messaging and other stuff I forgot, we, but we already went over tons. Kurt takes a deep breath and starts to massage his head. I feel like econ is a lot simpler than everything you just showed me. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Oh wait, econ. We were nearly supposed to take a small break. I check the time on the laptop screen and see that nearly an hour has passed since we stopped studying. Kurt shrugs and Darren offers an apologetic smile. Sorry, I would have reminded you at the time, but I managed to lose track too. Hey, it's not like we're on some deadline here. We can spare an hour. Yeah, that what Madri said. I force myself to close out of the browsers and close my laptop. Renewing to my textbook feels like such a massive chore right now, but eh, it's for the best. Hey, just a sec. I perk up at the tone of Kurt's voice. He sounded like he suddenly forgot something. What? What is it? I wanted to see your blog. Whoa, now, I was definitely not expecting that. Mine? Oh, uh, sure? I make an over-exaggerated groan of ex exertion as I reach over for my laptop on top of my bag. I then open my browser once again and click on the bookmark for my blog. Here. I pass in my laptop with both hands. Just check out my blog, okay? <clears throat> I don't need you rooting around my stuff. Scared I might find all your porn? Well, more like you might mess up all my assignments and notes. Plus that folder I have saved exclusively for reaction gifts is just embarrassingly big. I still want to seem like I have some sort of life, thank you. Kirk grows quiet as he scrolls my blog. As I watch him, I do my best to seem casual, but I'm secretly anxious about what he'll think. I'm like this with everyone. It's like, how am I supposed to feel if you dislike this really personal thing of mine? Does that mean you don't like me too? Ugh, I don't know. It's weird feeling. It's a weird feeling to explain. This is pretty girly. Oops, sorry, I forgot to give you a disclaimer. It's more girly than anything, but I do have pictures of other things besides clothes and cute things. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kurt distractedly waves me off as he continues. Looks like you do- Looks like all you do is reblog weird pictures on this thing. Maybe. What's it to you? I scoff, offended. Ugh, whatever, you don't- if, if you just don't get it because you don't use it, you're done. Hand my laptop back. Wait, what is this? Oh, you found the blog about- the post about him? Mother. You wrote about tutoring me! Did I? Oh man, I did write about Kurt in my blog. It was after our first meeting ever. My mind starts to shift through my memories as fast as it can. Did I write anything about Kurt specifically? No, not really. At least, if I'm basing this off all I can remember. Daw, mentioning our first meeting ever, I'm touched. It's obviously Kurt's making fun of me for even mentioning it at all. And here I was feeling bad because I might have made fun of him on there. He snickers as he holds out my laptop. I swipe it out of his hands. It's not like I went into... It's not like how I went into how the highlight of my day or whatever. It isn't. Maybe if I'm having a particularly sucky day, Kurt smirks at me. In all seriousness, it was nice, Grave. It was very you. I really dug it. Anyway, we're halfway through chapter 10. I want to get this done. He changes gears so suddenly that I barely register. He offered me a compliment, and one that, was based on, that wasn't based that was based on my looks. I always get thrown off when he does that. It's just not. I'm just not used to hearing it. I do like hearing it, though. As I get started on working through the book problems, I hope that... I'll be hearing more of those kinds of compliments from now on. There will be a welcome change from those stupid, dirty jokes. Though I bet your blog could use a few nudes now that I think about it. I stand corrected. There is no hope left for Kurt Marjorie.